So this video is going to be uh, a first of this channel. It's going to be a little different, a little weird. This is actually a response video uh, to my previous video where I said that HTC does not understand the metaverse. Well, due to recent events, it seems like I was actually trying to prove wrong on that. And I'd like to actually offer a formal apology to HTC Vive. And if you're curious on why that is, we're going to get into it right now. Today is 5.19 and uh, this happened 5.18 yesterday. The Chinese president of HTC Vive, and that is Alvin Wang Graylin, um, put out, I think, a wonderful tweet. And I think it was something that um, a lot of us really needed to hear who are, you know, into the, this metaverse scape, who are, you know, heavy into VR, AR, XR and obviously the metaverse doesn't just encompass all that um but you tend to hear a lot about it just from being in that space and you know obviously everyone's interpretation of the metaverse is a little different um but we for sure know that we aren't trying to bring these conglomerate ideals to the metaverse and like with certain companies like meta and what they're showing off they're showing off they really have a gross misunderstanding of what the metaverse could be and for a while HTC Vive was right there with them with their video that I'll put on the screen and they've been the butt of many jokes for a while because of videos like like this and other statements that they make um but like i said uh alvin about an amazing tweet and we're actually going to go over today it's going to be it's just a short top 10 list here's top 10 metaverse myths he just put together this list and literally as i was reading through this i was like i was astonished because it was like whoa i think the greatest thing about this list is it tackles the mainstream audience's view on the quote-unquote metaverse while also kind of somewhat putting to rest the fears of many people who you know are into this field and are seeing what the quote-unquote metaverse is becoming right so let's go ahead and look into this the first thing he listed is the metaverse it's just a new name for vr xr um this is something that a lot of people get really confused they hear the metaverse and they just think it is in being in virtual reality um i'll even put an example on the screen and the metaverse and all this stuff is not super mainstream just as vr isn't the most mainstream thing ever the metaverse is like you have like vr right here and then the metaverse is all the way down here so you don't necessarily expect everyone to know what it means especially people who aren't in well versed in the topic they just know off of what other companies are telling them it is or kind of presenting it as so of course they're going to kind of make wrong assumptions about it but with this right here is you know it's one of the more simpler things but it's nice to know that they recognize that it's not just vr xr and it's so much more the metaverse is all about gaming and social now this is true and this tackles i think a kind of deeper layer into what kind of people think of the metaverse i think of a lot of like crypto bros right with a lot of things that they're doing when they're like oh we're making our own metaverse and it's usually just a social hub or a game um like the board eight yacht company um i forgot which company they're working with to bring their own gaming metaverse um or you think of something like decentraland where people come together and they buy land and they put their stuff their nfts and all that and they're like this is the metaverse right here and that's wrong it's a very gross misunderstanding of what the metaverse is i wouldn't say i'm into the market that it is right now but i see the potential of what like nfts and digital ownership and all that could be i just don't think we're at that point right now i think one of the most egregious things is when they call something in their metaverse just by saying that it's theirs they again are showing how much they don't understand what it is this next one is um the third one is actually really funny because i just saw a video this is the same creator that i put on earlier the way he described the metaverse and I, i'll put the video up right now so you can see it it's a one-to-one -one replica of the real world all right and the idea is that everyone you know and love exists virtually and a headset like this that costs way too much money you see what, what he said was just not true that is that is not what the metaverse is going to be i don't know where he got that definition from there's two things he said in that video specifically uh, it was that about being a digital recreation of our world and he was saying apparently uh, one metaverse day is apparently 30 minutes in real life time don't know who's ever said that anyone who's ever said that has absolutely no idea what he's talking about and the thing is it's not his fault it's, but no this is this is this is right here it's, just, it's pretty self expanded just another way to say digital twin we're not taking our current world and putting it into the internet it's kind of the opposite of what we're doing actually we're integrating the internet into our day-to-day -day lives and I mean beyond just being around the phone and i mean literally like only through a phone a computer a watch a console these things are all around us so it's not hard to get to um but they're still locked behind those things whereas when the metaverse is here we'll see the internet expanded and technologies connections because it's like we're always going to be within the internet at that point so it's not a digital twin we're not just recreating our world for us to visit on, a, on an io website that's not what that is the metaverse will create endemic escape so when I first read this, I was a little confused, but what I think 
it's trying to say is that and you see this a lot with like dystopian movies um you think of something like population one or the main character his his city just the whole world it was dirty it was falling apart it was after the corn syrup wars wars i think that's what it was and the, the uh the oasis was their escape from it and it was basically like oh well i don't have to care about the real world because i'm in a digital world that's so much better and i i, I do think that actually is a bit of a valid fear to have but i don't think necessarily having a metaphors just straight up creates it that kind of becomes a bit hard because that's more so of that toes the line of controlling the the individual because you don't want to tell them that you can't tell them that they can't use certain things or have something as an escapism but at the same time it does to a certain degree have to be controlled so that we don't literally neglect our world without this world there is no metaverse obviously um and we also have to make sure that in terms of doing this because when you think about how much computing power electricity everything we're going to be using to run all this stuff is Really gonna, it's really gonna take a lot of power. We have to make sure that when this is being curated, we're not gonna literally put our world on the brink of destruction just so we can have fun in our digital landscape. The metaverse is a dystopian utopian. Now this is something that, this is something I also think is a bit of a valid fear. Again, you look at things like Ready Player One uh, where you have those companies that are like, they're, they're big conglomerates that wanna, they wanna have their part of the metaverse and they wanna, they wanna control it and control what people do and they wanna select their own regulations and stuff and at least fully i don't think people would try to let that happen but the metaverse itself is not inherently dystopian there's nothing dystopian about it it's a valid fear that's kind of an extreme fear to just assume or say it, it straight out is when really it is bringing the internet into our world merging the internet into more of our physical world doesn't automatically make it better it's just the next step in terms of what the internet could be but that doesn't necessarily make it worse or better it will have its drawbacks and it will have its plus sides but it's not inherently dystopian and utopian and it doesn't have to be those extremes. The metaverse is just a niche fad. I think a lot of this comes from the crypto bro side because a lot of crypto things tend to kind of fall in that area. Obviously you have obviously you have the coins that are doing well and the, and the cryptos that are prospering but for a majority of them they're failing and it's more it's really easy to see it as a niche and when these crypto bros are always saying this is the metaverse we are the metaverse this is the metaverse it's so easy to bunch that in with crypto when crypto is kind of niche when it's not true at all. The problem is that's just misinformation and it's wrong for crypto bros to kind of claim the metaverse as theirs i'm not saying they all do that and i'm not i'm not even saying that all of them don't know what they're talking about but the problem is you see so much of them don't really properly explain it and they kind of say it in a way that it makes you think that without the meta without crypto there is no metaverse and that's not true that's that's not true at all um but to think that you can't have one without the other is just plain false the metaverse is already here or it is pure science fiction um so this is two sides of the same coin um two extremes kind of we we're talking about the dystopian utopian thing and in terms of it being already here it's not don't let anyone tell you that it is this is another problem that crypto bros had when they say this is our metaverse sorry when they say that and i'm not I'm, I'm not trying to be too harsh but when they say that it just sounds like they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about because it's not it's literally no different than like a playstation hub world from like 2008 like they will literally like i want you to think about this i want you to think about this they're creating these like unreal engine games the, the way they describe the metaverse is kind of the equivalent of how xbox 360 arcade had avatar games where your own avatar could go and you could play the game which is a really cool concept and they could see my avatar and they could see their avatar that's not a metaverse uh but the way they talk about it and they made the way they present it is is it makes it seem like but the way they talk about it and the way they present it is like it's already here we are years upon years before it even becoming for it to really be like the metaverse is here when the metaverse is here everyone is gonna know that it's here and now pushing to the other thing that's pure science fiction this is just kind of deniers being like the metaverse isn't gonna happen it's gonna fail it's it's, it's not possible it's it's gonna happen it, we, we are always innovating innovation happens decades before people even realize it or more so until it becomes the mainstream um i'm sure we already have the technologies being developed right now for the metaverse to be a normal thing in our everyday life we're just not seeing it now but to deny it is just wrong the metaverse equals a web 3 must be fully decentralized and um this has a lot to do with crypto bros misinformation um for some reason they think that web 3 is the metaverse and that web 3 will always be the metaverse and that's and that's why they push their io platforms and their crypto wallets and stuff and they're like this here is the metaverse and it's not it's it, sure web 3 is like the next step in the internet um but that's just one part in the making the metaverse a, a real thing so 
not to say that they're wrong in saying like yeah this you know you will see this in the metaverse they're they're wrong in saying that web 3 is the metaverse they they're they're conflating two things that aren't of equal value i th i think the problem is is that a lot of times what people will do is that they take the metaverse um and it's kind of like they will they'll pin a line to a specific thing right so like crypto web 3 nfts like the metaverse equals these things when that's not the case at all more so like like an iceberg the metaverse is the top layer and everything below it is what it is part of the metaverse now in terms of being decentralized and web 3 and stuff um i think the push for decentralization is actually a great thing the thing about the metaverse is that this will be crafted with creators and people and individuals it won't just be some company telling us what is and isn't the metaverse uh, last two a virtual land nfts is a must to join the metaverse so we'll go over this really quick because i was kind of already going over this with my other talking points this is kind of the same what the previous point is saying they're saying basically without these things there is no metaverse not true it's a thing that can happen under the metaverse or like in the metaverse it's not a need they, they, you cannot con like conflict these two it, it's not the same thing they're not interchangeable buzzwords there's the metaverse and there are the things that come with the metaverse and the last one and i think this is honestly the most important one for right now xyz company is making a the metaverse and i did touch on this earlier but i really think this is a very important talking point meta knew what they were doing when they named themselves meta they this is a game plan strategy it's a smart one the reason i say it's dumb is not necessarily on their part it's dumb dumb in the eyes of people like me and other creators who are really in the thick of this and and trying to let people know really what the metaverse could be um it's dumb because it's misinformation and it confuses people and that's why you have all these different people who say meta is the creators of the metaverse I hate to bring up this guy again but this is literally what he says my goal become the most famous person in the metaverse because that person right now is definitely mark zuckerberg i remember when i got to that part of the video i almost turned it off and it's not like i was upset at him i'm upset at meta i didn't realize how bad the misinformation was getting until i saw this video this video is way more curated for people who are on the outside so i probably would have never seen this video were it not for me being signed out and i'm actually really happy i did because it gave me such a great understanding of how much people didn't understand what the metaverse is no company singular company is going to make a or the metaverse i especially the a part because the metaverse is not a thing it is the thing i'm not saying that crypto or anything like that should not be a part of the metaverse i think it absolutely has a place i think the thing that just upsets me the most is all these companies and, and crypto people who are spreading so much misinformation early on when this is a chance to educate people and get them ready for this really innovative and amazing thing that's coming very soon you spread this misinformation and i mean it's the internet obviously that's going to happen but to the degree that it's happening it's 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 mind-boggling and it's creating so much much unnecessary damage and that's the part that gets under my skin and so that was uh mr Grayland's top 10 metaverse miss um and you know like i was saying vive was the butt of a lot of jokes um for quite a few months now i think vive has slowly been kind of going down in the eyes of a lot of vr xr enthusiasts um because they've really been focusing on the business side of stuff and it's not like they've been necessarily doing bad choices it's just for the con the for the creators and consumers their choices haven't necessarily uh, made us too happy um and especially when they released that video it was laughable it was a, it was a mockery it was i would never expect the high quality company like i would never expect a high quality company like htc to release whatever that video was um but i'm so happy that the president himself came out and put out this list because that gives me so much faith that maybe htc are the people who are going to lead who are going to properly lead uh what into what the metaverse should be it's nice to see that a company that is who are considered a great company in the eyes of a lot of enthusiasts um taking the charge to try and um misspill a lot of this information um and i'm just a small youtuber i don't took a lot of people are generally going to see this video um so i can complain about it all i want but my word is not going to reach like Graylands will um so honestly I, <laughs> like i said i doubt you i doubt people are going to see this video and i doubt you're ever going to see this video but but genuinely thank you thank you for making this list um ever since i read it i it was the only thing that's been on my mind for like the last day and a half like i'm not even kidding i knew i had to make a video on this because it was just a really simple list um but i think after seeing so much misunderstanding it's nice to see a company lead 
really show that they understand um, the metaverse by saying what are myths about the metaverse. So um, it's it's definitely restored a lot of faith I've had in them from their from their last kind of metaverse debacle. And I, I haven't seen a lot of creators talk about it. Yeah, guys, that was the video. Like I said, this is kind of a different video, a bit of an apology to Vive in terms of making that video. Um, but you guys, thank you so much for watching. For those who stayed all the way to end, you're amazing. I really do think there are amazing things on the horizon, unlike a certain horizon. And I just really want to make sure I document all this and hopefully you can follow the journey with me. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night. If you want to share this video with all your people who are interested in metaverse stuff, um, I will try to make more content on it. Um, you can catch me on TikTok and Twitch. All my links are in the description. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.